3D printing has been used for things like orthotic insoles and prosthetic limbs, but scientists at UW-Madison's Weissman Center have now taken it a step further. Armand Rahman talked to the brains behind 3D printed brains. And Armand, is this a real thing? Well, Eric, kind of. It's actually brain tissue. Researchers here are the first to 3D print functional and growing human brain tissue. You can 3D print a lot of things that just stay lifeless objects, but no one's 3D printed living brain tissue until now. And living means operating, growing, and a whole lot more. Actually, they can talk to each other. The scientists grew the brain cells side by side from existing stem cells they had at the Weissman Center at UW-Madison. That way they could measure how the nerves grew and sent signals. One way they did that was put the printed brain tissue next to spinal cord tissue and muscle tissue to see how they talk. When we uh, control the, uh, the activity of the cortical neuron, then we can control the contraction of the muscle cells. They are contract and release and contract. We, we can control the movement of their hand or our feet, yeah. While this has the potential to be used for therapeutics or spinal cord implants, the lead on the study says what's more important yeah, is using it to model and study diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's that are still difficult to understand, and then test drugs on the printed tissue more accurately. Try to understand how our brain cells communicate to each other, how this cell actually Calculate, because our brain is essentially a supercomputer, super, 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 super computer. Now, while the idea of self-sufficient 3D printed brain cells can sound scary, the team stresses that they're far from printing a whole organ, but it is kind of the first step to artificial intelligence, Eric.